So this next question has to do with kinematics again, except now we have multiple dimension, or at least two, and we're also representing things in your i hat, j hat, k hat, univector notation, just to show you how they jive together. So the first thing to kind of notice, whether we can use our kinematics equation now, we have to question ourselves whether the acceleration is in fact constant in time. If you look at this expression, there's no time dependence on that side, so we do in fact have constant acceleration. Uh, we have an i hat and a k hat. What the heck's a k hat? Well, we know i hat and j hat is associated with x and y, and no surprise, you know, k hat is actually associated with z direction by convention. So Applying our kinematics formula, we know that our Vf is equal to my Vo plus a delta t. In previous courses, you might have been told, oh, now that we're in 2D, we just do this more than once, right? We do it once in the x, once in the y, maybe once in the z, if it is, in fact, a three-dimensional problem. But the nice thing about these ijk notation is we can just put it directly into the one equation and it will kind of break down for us by itself. See how that works. We want our VF that we don't know. My VO is right here. My acceleration and my time. So we try to simplify the expression as much as we can. Second, second cancels out. And again, we collect like terms, right? We have to collect the i's separately from the k's. Different letters don't mix, just like regular algebra. There's no k in the first term, so it's just just like that. And you can kind of see how we're still sort of doing the x and the z in this case separately. But now it can all be done in one single line. And in that sense, the one vector equation here actually allows us to solve for three different components, x, y, and z, right? And then we just do them each separately, and they don't, they don't mix, these i and these k's. If you want it to look a little prettier, sometimes we collect just the units in the back like that. And so that is the velocity of the spaceship five seconds after the rocket's fired. In many ways, the IJK doesn't actually change what we do. We just dress it up a little differently. 